G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Sorry I haven't been uh, uploading much lately. I've been uh, busy with puppies. Uh, one of my girls had an emergency caesarean last night. And the day before, while well, she was in labour, I was just sitting with her all day. You know, didn't want to leave her and she didn't want to leave me. And <laughs> so, yeah, I've, you know, and then there's the usual Christmassy stuff. So anyway, I'm back. And oh, my renovation, I couldn't do anything for four days because I've been renovating in my studio. So yeah, I did have a couple of videos that I did beforehand that I could put up. But anyway, enough of all of that. I'm going to use Oki today, my little octopus mold. Love it. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I think I've only used him once so far. And I did, oh, I'm getting, I did that. Do you guys remember that one? really pretty so similar kinds of things but instead of the little iridescent flakes i'm going to use gold flakes um, and what i'm going to do is i want to put them just where the tentacles are so i'm just going to get a piece um, i don't know that you can see very well but i'm going to put a little piece over the tentacles and then i'm just going to kind of brush it like that brush it on it's going to take me a little while, so I'll do a little bit, and then I'll I'll stop, and I'll just fast forward. It doesn't have to be on every single little piece. Like, I don't mind if it's not on every little tiny speck, but I'll try and sort of cover as much of it as I can. And then I'm just going to pour in some um, really transparent alcohol inks. I've got some teal... Um, and I've got some blue and I've got some light blue and I'll talk to you about those in a little bit I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to mix up my resin because I didn't want to mix it up now and have it sitting here for the next I don't know how long it's going to take me to do this it shouldn't take me too long I'll come up I'll show you what I'm doing and then I'll put you on pause and I'll finish the rest let me just put you on autofocus See, I'm just doing that. It doesn't matter if, if, you know, well, I don't think it matters if there's a little, you know, gap there. I haven't done all of them. But um, I'll, do, I'll do my best. It's a little bit difficult working with the gold flake. But, yeah, I just want it kind of where the tentacles are. Not too solid. Um, and then, um, yeah. So I'll finish that. And I will come back to you shortly once I've mixed up my resin. And we'll do the next step, eh? So I put the gold leaf where I wanted to put it. I've mixed up my resin. I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus. So I'll be able to unmold later on today. Now what I thought I would do is, I, I want to put some gold in his little eyes there. But I want to have a little bit of black on the gold. And I was thinking, if I just use my marker, I don't know whether or not that will actually come off with the resin. And I actually, to tell you the truth, I don't know if nail polish is going to come off either, but I'm going to pop just a tiny bit of nail polish just in the center of his little eye there. I'm just going to use this little cotton wool ball on the end of a stick so I can just dab there. Yeah, and like I said, I don't, I don't know if this is going to work or not. <laughs> I have no idea. But I thought, oh, if I put the marker on and the marker doesn't like come off and then it stays on my mould, I mean, that's not too much of a problem, but I do want to have the little black centres for his eyes, you see. So, all right, I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker, darker. hope it works. What else could I use if I don't use nail polish? I don't know. No, oh, that's the other thing. If you don't want to use uh, gold leaf, you can just dust on some gold mica powder. Um, I have got a video coming up that I want to do with um, dusting this mold with different uh, chameleon powders. 
so I thought well I don't want to do the dusting now because I want to do the dusting on another video so that's why I thought I'll just do the gold leaf for now okay there we go that'll do and um, and see how that goes now I want to put a bit of gold leaf over the top of those eyes to fill in the little eyeball there I'm just going to decant my resin real quick and of course there's a fly in here So I'm using, as I said, their Platinum 360 Plus, and I mixed up 225 grams of A and 97 grams of B. And that gives me 322 grams exactly. I may not need all that, but uh, I'd rather have a little bit more than, than not enough, especially if I want to have oh, a little bit more of one colour and then I haven't got enough. So there we go. So that's it there. It starts to warm up pretty quickly, the um, medium viscosity resins. Okay, so let's get a piece of this. Let's see if I can find like a, it doesn't have to be too, too square, I guess, but I just want to pop a little bit in there. And then I'll give it a bit of a brush as well. It's hard trying to find a piece that's going to fit. <laughs> And this stuff, like if you put it on a bit of the mould that you don't want it to go on, it's it sticks and you have to uh, kind of scratch it off if it's in the wrong spot. But it's easy enough to do. I just sort of scratch it off with my nail if it's in the wrong spot. So there we go. There's a little bit for his eyes. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect perfect I mean you're welcome to do it perfect perfect <laughs> if you want to as perfect as you want to do it um, I'm not terribly concerned about it I hope the nail polish is staying <laughs> underneath there not moving away I mean, oh gosh if you put it in the wrong spot it sticks there a little bit more on the side and I don't want to brush off what I've already got yeah it's a little bit tricky that took me quite a while to do all that dusting around the tentacles it took me a little while <laughs> you would have been bored watching it all okay there we go I don't think it needs to go up the side too much, does it? Nah. Anyway, we'll see what it looks like. So, oh, just got to go away, fly. I've got a bit of a gap now. I'll show you later. When I take you down for a close-up, I'll show you what they've done in my studio. They've put the sliding door in because this will, next, next year, be my new dog room. So I'm getting it ready for that. So I've got a new sliding door. And a new door where the window used to be. Just gonna make sure I'm covering up that black. I think I'm just <laughs> taking it off rather than putting it on. Oh gosh. I think it's kind of sticking to the um the nail polish. Bear with me, I'm nearly done. That'll do. That will do. Let's put you away. Now, if you've got any little bits that that you don't want, like I don't want any on in the head there, just get your tape. That'll pick it up. All right. So I've chosen some teal and a dark blue and a light blue, and they are from that's resin. This one's cerulean. I'm just going to start with just like two drops. I haven't got the stir sticks. And then we've got azure. And get the lid off. That's that one. A pretty deep mold so the colors will be pretty consistent and this one's sky 
I did a little a test piece here. So I'm using Cerulean, that one, Azure, that one, and Sky, that one. So we'll go darkest to lightest. I've got my stir sticks. And I think that'll look pretty, eh? Like so. Okay. I don't want it to be too dark. I don't want it to sort of overpower everything else. It's getting warm. Took me a while to do the eyes. I should have made the eye, did the eyes first and then made up the resin. All right, so that's that one. I will put a bit more in because I wanted it a little bit darker. They had to kind of pull part of the ceiling out to put the new sliding door in, and I think the flies are coming through there. Mm. It's going to have to. I'm going to have to put up with it for the next. Well, they're not starting until the new year, so another three weeks before we get started, and then it's going to take about. Uh, three or four months because it's really hard to get building materials at the moment so everything's taking a lot longer than it normally would look at that it's pretty colors I think that one's got enough color in it uh, I'll make these two a little bit darker I'm really having trouble getting this color out of this one wanted that a really pale blue but it's more of a more of a teal let's see what it looks like once I've added more color to this one because that one might be all right then it's just looking rather teal I'm going to do that to it okay and the colors will blend a little bit anyway which is fine but I did kind of want a transparency you know because octopus or octopi um, are as far as I know <laughs> sort of transparent you can see through them all, all the ones I have have been transparent I right, said so this one was a little bit too teal they tend to look different on the on the card don't they so this one, just put a little bit of blue in that one so that's a light bluey teal that's a darker blue get any out and then this is going to be my darkest my teal a little bit of blue in that one yeah they do seem to look a little bit different on the cards I think nearly there guys bear with me well fast forward so, I was telling you about Lucy, my teacup poodle. First litter, um, big litter, oh my gosh, guess what? I took her for an x-ray on Tuesday. She birthed Thursday, today's, uh, sorry, she birthed Wednesday. Today's Thursday, you probably won't see this video until Friday, but five puppies, oh my gosh. I was so nervous about looking after them because, you know, mum's got no milk after a cesarean generally no milk um, so it, it's a bit scary I, I had to feed them I've given them three well they're not bottles I put a teat on the end of a syringe I do it that way um, actually I, I don't know if I'll need those I might pour straight in we'll see oh no I better do this so anyway yeah I was up um, I fed them at 8 p.m. last night and then I got up and I fed them at 11 p.m. and then I got up again at 3 a.m. and fed them again. I might make this one a little bit darker. So I haven't had much sleep but they, they're doing really well. So, so far, cross fingers, they're doing well. But yeah, I've never, never, ever had five. Not with small, you know, they're teacup poodles, only little dogs. Go away, fly! Oh my gosh. Shoo. Stay with me. I just want to put a little bit more blue in this one. Oh, now I'm getting it all over my fingers. This is taking so long because I can't get any of that out. There's something wrong with the bottle. Oh. Now I've got ink all over my hands. 
ink off my hands all right I think we're good to go I think we're good to go where'd that stick go pour that into the wrong one didn't I that was silly of me all right it's gonna pour them into the cups that way I can have a little bit more control over how I'm pouring them. If the colours are not exactly what I want this time, um, I'll do it again. Oh, I forgot my gloves. My gloves are right here. I took them off to um, take the off pause. And then I did the gold because I didn't need my gloves on to do the gold, did I? All right, here we go, guys. So I'm going to start with the darkest one here. Pretty deep mould, as I was saying. Actually, I might just spray a little bit of alcohol because I don't want bubbles. All right, here we go. Now, um, put a little bit more of this dark in here because this is going to be the, the metal. So that's where the darkest is going to be. And then we'll have the lighter one kind of through here and then the lightest on the very edge shoo you want to be on YouTube do you you're gonna be splattered in a minute just you wait just you wait I'll deal with you in a minute all right so I'm doing each tentacle together so that I can try and get that sort of blending I think if I do one at a time you know one lots of color and then move on to the next color they'll just all blend and there won't be any room for the lighter one all right here we go again can't really see much difference between those two lighter colors but that's all right I didn't want to do it too too dark you know like I said, I want to keep it transparent. Whoops, you're going to go there, you're going to go there. This is a bit tricky. Now, fill them up again. Put a bit more in. Let's keep going until I've used up my resin and they're full. Whoops, not watching what I'm doing there. I spilled it. I was watching my other hand. Can't do two things at once, obviously. All right, that's the mid blue done. And where did I get up to here? And then the lighter blue, that's the lightest. I think it's going to look pretty. And then that one. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit more of this darkest one through the center. You can kind of blend a little bit with the others. Get them on if they blend, that's fine. Okay, so that's that one done. Now let's put a little bit more of the lightest one on the very tips whoops overflowing I'll get my um, baby wipe in a minute and wipe all the edges so that I don't have too much sort of hanging over over the top of the mold a little bit of that mid blue going in it's nearly to the top of the mold. Go away you! Okay, nearly there, a little bit more. So just do it slowly. The last thing you would want is for your mold to overflow and then it's a huge mess. So just go slowly. I'm gonna make sure that your table's nice and level. 
Now this being the 360 plus, the platinum, it'll, it's going to set up pretty quickly. Especially now that my mould is, you know, full. It's quite a deep mould. Um, I could probably unmould this in, say, three hours <laughs> if I was wanting to. Um, not that I want to, but I potentially could. Just because it's... Um, it sets up so quickly. The, the, the deeper you pour your resin, the faster it's going to cure and set up. So it's already going to like a, a jelly consistency. Done, you guys. I think that's done. All right, now I've got a tiny little bit left. There's a tiny bit of the blue left, tiny bit though. Yeah, that's about it. So, look, 322 was pretty good with my calculation 322 grams. Now, I'm going to give it a quick little torch, just a quick little torch. Now this is going to be the back obviously, so I don't mind spritzing it with alcohol. It's probably safer than putting too much heat on it because you know these cheap thin moulds. Um, I mean any mould you've got to be careful with um, an open flame, but specifically for these ones. Um, they don't seem to last quite as long. Alright, spritz that with alcohol. Some leftover resin under that one. Probably something else. I was wondering it wasn't sitting quite flat. Okay, so there we go. That's it done. I'm gonna go and get that fly. Yes, you. I'm talking about you. Don't you land in my resin? What have I got left? Nothing really. It's not pouring. Okay, um, I'll bring you down for a close up, and then I'll I'll clean up my mess, and I want to show you. I'm going to show you what I've done. Oh, I had you on autofocus all that time. Okay, so here we go. These little eyeballs in there. I hope they work. Do you reckon the black's going to come off with the resin, like the nail polish? I hope so. All right, so you can see there it's really pale and it gets darker and darker and darker into the centre. And I just did, see, I just did along the edges there where the tentacles were. And I wasn't too precious about getting every single little spot. So I think if you make like a line, you know, top and bottom, you can see that definite line. I think that would look too, yeah, too put. Okay, guys, are you ready? It's done. Like I said, it's only been a few hours. Uh, so, yeah, it's all ready. Okay, let's have a little look, hey? The um the head there was set like in an hour because it's so deep. These ones may be a little bit bendy still. Not sure because they're a little bit they're not as deep. So it's gotta be careful there not to break anything, but I'll just ease it off carefully. It's gotta be careful of the end bit of tentacles there. That'd be the the thing to watch the rest of it's pretty easy let's make your way around I'm pushing from underneath as well oh I'm so excited I hope it's gonna look really pretty oh I forgot to tell you when I started this video and I couldn't remember the lady's name I had to when I was waiting for it to cure, I had to go back and look up her, what her name was. She did something very similar to this. I hope this doesn't stick. Oh, no, it's all right. I wrote on the side there how much I needed. Um, anyway, getting back to it. Um, her name is Sabrina. I think her name's Sabrina. Um, oh, I should have written it down, her surname. Um, so, yeah, it, the, her photo just came up on my Facebook feed and I thought oh you know in a different um in a different resin group wasn't mine 
so but yeah hers her octopus looked amazing so i thought oh i'm gonna have a go at that so hopefully if she's watching this she doesn't mind totally being inspired by you sabrina <laughs> as i think lots of people are inspired by me when i do things it's great that we're all inspired by each other i think all right here we go oh it's out it's out it's out yay okay so a little a couple of little areas there just to finish off nothing major you can just sort of scratch them off really all right let's clean this oh here we go look it's got the transparency to it i really wanted it to look like glass let me get these last little bits off before i flip her over or him i think it's a him because he's blue sabrina also did one in purple which has also inspired me to do another one. Oh, it looks so good hers is slightly different though i think she um put her maybe she put in um clear resin and dropped alcohol inked into it and swelled i'm not i'm not sure like i, I don't know she didn't say and I, there was no video so um this is my way all right here we go are we ready flip her over oh wow <gasps> look at that now as usual you're seeing it more blue as far as i know you're seeing it more blue than i am through here um, in reality it's more teal oh look at that Oh, it's so pretty. I've got a stray piece of um, gold <laughs> just above the eye there. But look, you can see through that. Look at that. It looks like gold, doesn't it? Look at it shine. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, let's have a closer look at these tentacles here, shall we? Let's see if we can focus on them. Oops, hang on, I'm on the wrong thing. Gosh, there we go. I was on the wrong focus thingy. There we go. That's better. Look at that. So you can see how the edges are more clear. And then hopefully it's getting darker, darker, darker. And then into here, darker. I guess I could have even made that head even darker. Oh, look at his eyes. Let's have a look at his eyes. I forgot about his eyes. Oh, look. He can see us. Hello, Mr. Octopus. He can see us. Oh, that's worked out well. And have a look. Yes. The nail polish came out. Woohoo! Oh, that's good to know, isn't it? For us that are want to put something black in there. Look, I'm sure marker pens would work as well, but I just wasn't sure. So there we go, Mr. Octopus. I'll take him outside and um, take a photo of him out in the sun. And let you know what uh, you can... Yeah, have a look, see what you think. So there he is. I will um I'll show you Lucy's puppy in another puppies in another video. Um, I don't want to upset her by going in there and shoving a camera in her face. So <laughs> I'll I'll show you. I'll show you her puppies in a few days. Okay. Um all right, so I'll leave it at that. I'll go and there's some sun out start outside still, so I'll go and take a photo outside. But what do you think? Let me know what you think of it. And um if you'd like to see it in some other colours, maybe just give me some colour ideas. At the moment I've just got purple ideas in my mind. But um yeah. Happy to take requests. All right, thanks for watching you guys, and I'll see you real soon for the next video. Bye for now. Here's Lucy's babies. Aren't they gorgeous? I put coloured nail polish on the back of each of them so I could weigh them and know who's who. Lucy. Okay. Hey, where's your good girl? She says, why you got that in my face? Come here, come and say hello to everybody. Hello, baby. Hello. You're a good girl, aren't you? Yes. You're a good girl. She's taken to motherhood very well. Very quickly. It's her first litter. Alright, leave you in peace. Hey, leave you in peace.